Hey guys, this is Dan Wolak from Cool Cracker Bushcraft. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uses of cedar, okay, and making a bird's nest with cedar. Um, this is also a great source if we're going to use a ferrocerium rod to light a tinder source, okay? So how do we actually process the cedar down? Well, one thing that you can do is take the back part of your knife and just start to scrape the bark, okay? And this would be good if the tree was still standing and you wanted to get some of this bark off. You could scrape it and you see all the, these scrapings, okay? It's a real fine, powdery, hair-like consistency that comes off. This will light right up with a ferrocerium rod. I'm going to show you that shortly here. But what I want to focus on more is also how do we get large amounts if we have a down piece of cedar to make a nice sized bird nest to use our charred cloth that we've been talking about in our videos. Well, if we peel this back, okay, and then we just take our material and start to break it, twist it around, break it around, you see that's starting to fluff up and break down into nice fibers, okay? Just like that. And this is gonna make great bird's nest material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my piece of oil skin out to work on, okay? And I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna make a bird's nest out of this. And I'm gonna take some of it, I'll actually take this amount right here, and I'm gonna also show you how quick this lights with a ferrocerium rod. So I'm gonna continue to work on this, make a nice bird's nest, like we talked about in our last video. It's the same concept. If we have good small material into larger material, we know we're gonna get flame from that. So I'm gonna work this down. I'm gonna get a good amount of it to make a good bird's nest. Show you what that looks like. I'll blow it to flame again, and then we'll talk about the ferrocerium rod with cedar. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you this. No different than the inner bark of the tulip poplar. Look at we have real fine stuff, okay, that's laying on this sawhorse here. Okay, super fine material. And if you look closely, we have some thicker stuff and some medium sized stuff. So as we process this down, okay, you could see all this stuff that's not laying on the sawhorse, I'm gonna collect, and that's where I'm gonna place my amber in my tinder bundle. Okay guys, so here's a small bundle of inner bark from the cedar that I was processing. And you can see I processed it down pretty far. Okay, so we're gonna strike this with the ferrocerium rod, get it ignited. And just let that burn. We'll be able to place this into our fire lay. And you can see all that moisture coming out of there. And have ourselves a fire. Okay guys, so here's my tinder bundle of my bark, okay, that I processed down. Very similar to the way we get set up our tulip poplar bird's nest, okay. This though, um, I sprinkled the fibers right on top the same and we have our thicker material in the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is ignite my charred material, okay, and this is just a little bit of terry cloth. Get that ignited, place that in the center of our bird's nest. You notice again I have a lot of depth to my bird's nest. It's not flat like a pancake. I got flame here, so I stopped blowing. I'm gonna blow it out. And there's a lot of moisture in this. Okay? I know that. But as this burns, it's gonna dry itself out. All right, guys, this was Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. That's another quick tip on cedar, how to use it with a ferrocerium rod and with charred material. Stay tuned for more videos. If you haven't, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.